Yeah. Wally, what'd you think of the fight, man? Actually, Charlo first, man. Break down that, that, that down to me. Um, it was a real, real good, solid performance, solid finish. You know, it was, I, I thought the fight was very competitive going into the, to the round that he, he got the KO in. Um, it was, uh, man, I, I mean, it was, suddenly it came to an end. You could see Charlo had the power uh, advantage. He, he, he got the knockdown even in the second round. But uh, Julian was doing some real good work, mixing his shots up. Um, it was going to be a real good tactical fight. It was a real good tactical fight for as long as it lasted. But, man, that was a real tough knockout to get. But I'll tell you, man, the way he planted his feet, mm. caught the shot with that right hand, and then with the same hand reversed it and threw the uppercut. I mean, everything happened because he planted his feet. Your instinct when a sharp right hand's coming to you like that is to step back or step underneath. You know what I mean? So, and he had been, especially when considering he'd been hit with some right hands already. So the fact that he held his ground despite the right hands having landed already, it didn't change his perception, didn't change his way of thinking. He knew what he wanted to do. He stayed planted when that right hand felt came his way, parried it with the one hand, and then with the same hand reversed in the uppercut. As he rolled, parried it as he that, rolled. Yeah. So that way he's gaining momentum to come back with the uppercut, roll back with the uppercut. It's such a difficult move to make uh, in, in the moment in a split second um really a, a very impressive knockout because then on top of that the shot actually got the knockout too you know it's, it's, it's difficult enough to land as yeah. is and it was a knockout shot um, for me yeah. one of the more impressive knockouts i've ever seen in terms of not not, not, not not that it was a highlight real knockout it was a solid knockout don't get me wrong julian was clearly hurt but man I, the, the way he put it together man that is not easy to do that is really high high level skills i don't think people can understand i can't even describe it i feel like i'm never i'm not giving enough credit still at what a high level knockout that was or what a high level move he made to get that shot in Polly, with that said though so so canelo he called him out and i asked you a little earlier who you thought won that fight yeah, I, I, I've been thinking for about a year already that Jamal and Canelo could be a good fight. And, uh, you know, Jamal keeps, you know, moving in that direction where he's just really, really elite level. And, um, you know, he, he got a win over Julian Williams tonight that was real, real good. I mean, you know, Julian was coming into his own himself. He's a real, real good fighter. I mean, uh, I know Jamal had a win over Austin Trott already, and people may think yeah. Austin had his best days behind him. Maybe he has, maybe he didn't. It wasn't a bad performance by Austin at all in that fight. But Julian was coming in really his prime roar and uh, hadn't lost... Uh, I think the stat we had at Showtime was he hadn't lost a round in about 150 rounds or so. You know what I mean? So Julian was on a roll, and he was clearly one of the best prospects in boxing, if not the best prospect in boxing. He had become a contender, and this was no easy task. You know, that you got to give Jamal credit for the character he had to stay in the weight class and then to fight him when he could have easily just gone up in weight. Um, so, I mean, I, I can't stress how impressed I was tonight with Jamal Charlo. For me, he might have become the number one guy based on tonight, but not just the win, how he got it, uh, and, and who he beat. Uh, you know, within a division that you can clearly start flip flopping number ones back and forth because you still got some so much talent there. So, so you don't, you would favor him over Canelo in that fight? I would, yeah, I would. Easy? No, no, I don't think it's ever easy when you fight Canelo. But one thing, first of all, General Mall has maybe the best jab in the in the weight class, and Canelo already has trouble with jabbers. Period. I mean, anybody that jabs at Canelo already gives him trouble and wins rounds against him. Amir Khan was bothering him with the jab. Um, Miguel Cotto was bothering him with the jab. You know, Jamal has a solid jab and he keeps you off balance with it. But then he's also got power behind it. You know, behind power behind it in, in terms of the combinations he's, he f brings fluidly behind it. He's got sharp counter punching skills, well balanced. I mean, he's he's actually got the tools to to to, the, to beat Canelo. He's he's got the style that for me it, it, it spells a lot of trouble for Canelo. And and Canelo was also a terrific fighter, but you know styles make fights, and uh, Jamal is going to be a, a a real real good fighter for a. Uh, for quite a while, I think. You know, he's 26 years old. He's coming to the middleweight division. Mm. We'll see what comes together for him there.